sitting comfortably on this sofa, I can say very easily that, hey, you just follow these tips and you will qualify CSR net. But the truth is just knowing the tips is not enough. Implementing is enough. Point which I want to make today is after this video, of course, make notes during this video and implement the pointers which I share with you. You will definitely see at least 50% progress in the way you are studying for CSI and exam. Now, first things first, it's very important for all of us to break down the things. So today we are, we are going to talk about the organic chemistry part of CSI. We are not going to talk about the inorganic and physical chemistry. So organic chemistry most of the times is the favorite of many students and uh, they go wrong. That is where I want to highlight. Even if organic chemistry is your best subject, even if you are very strong in that, you will still make silly mistakes if you do not follow the way I am going to explain. So the first thing is you have to break down the syllabus into basic principles and reaction mechanisms and various other parts. So you have to break down the syllabus of organic chemistry in a scientific manner. You are going to study science, you have to divide the syllabus in a scientific manner. Now that you have done that, let's take the uh, basic principles. So if we have to first understand the basic principles. Uh, under that, again, there will be three uh, parts. First is a fundamental concept, which can be obviously understanding the atomic structure, uh, theory of chemical bonding and orbital concepts. So this has to be by heart. You have to remember the fundamental concepts very, very clearly. Now, the next will be nomenclature. Now, many students just think that, okay, IUPAC nomenclature won't come or uh, the common names, but there are twists and turns in uh, CS and exam where this can be necessary. So always learn the new nomenclature, you know, thoroughly. And then of course comes the isomerism. So especially the structural isomerism is very important. The chain isomerism, the position isomerism, or the functional isomerism. These three types of isomerisms and various other uh, things under the isomerism. So these are the basic uh, core principles of organic chemistry you have to learn. Okay. Now, having said that, uh, organic chemistry will not exist without reactions, right? Chemical reactions. So if you understand the reaction mechanism, then only you can proceed forward. So for that, the basic mechanisms under acids and bases, like uh, the theory of Bronsted and Lowry, or the Lewis acid base theory, or uh, chemical reactions like, um, you know, addition reaction, substitution reaction, elimination reaction, these type of reaction, in that also nucleophilic substitution, uh, and uh, under that uh, NS1, NS2, all this you have to remember. Then you have the mechanistic and other concepts like nucleophilic and electrophilic. Then the reactive intermediates what will be produced. And then the bridges caps lock principle. All of this has to be thoroughly studied before you actually move on to the advanced level of preparation. Basics are important. Without basics, if you are jumping onto the advanced, you are not going to qualify CSI net. You are just fooling yourself. So please remember that part. Now let's jump on to the next aspect of preparation. You see, you have the syllabus you studied, but the next is how much registered here. You have you are going to go into the exam not not with me, not with YouTube, not with your teacher. You are going to go in your exam with your brain. So whatever you are studying, are you able to recall, right? So obviously you have to make your own notes, and that's the one most primary thing I always say all my students is you have to make your own notes, even though you studied from the book, even though you have the best notes which you have bought. But when you write on a pen and paper, your three to four sense organs are in contact. Okay, one is eyes, next is ears, and the third is your uh, you know, handwriting. So this is a motor ability. So when you are clubbing three things, you are consciously studying. So subconscious studying will not help. Consciously studying is helpful. That is why you have to make your own notes. Now let's jump on to the next point, which I would like to share. Now the next point is study material and reference books and online coaching. Now you should know this that, uh, okay, whatever content you consume, you will become that, right? So standard books, Morrison and Boyd, a must. Then you also have organic chemistry by Paula Y. Bruce, you can always uh, go for that. So these are standard books you have. Now coming to the online resources you have. Rasayanika has got its own online classes running for CSI and chemical science. So if you want to prepare for CSI and you can always enroll with us also. Now the next thing which I wanted to highlight here is the mock test papers. You have to uh, you know attempt online also it is available. Hard copy is also available at Rasayanika. You can go for that. Study material is also available at Rasayanika. You can go for that. Online lectures on YouTube is also there. You can always go for that. But then there, there will, can be some substandard lectures which will not be helpful. So you have to be careful there. Next step will be practicing the questions. Practicing as many problems as you can. So one is okay, you will have the standard books and behind the every chapter you will get the concept tests which you can, uh, you know, 
uh, practice. But the next will be self-evaluation using online mock test series. That is where the KMNET, which is Basainika KMNET test series, which we have, you can go for that. It will help you understand the pattern of the questions it'll, and it will help you do the time management. And it will also help you in decision making that which question to choose, which question to skip so that I do not uh, accumulate a lot of negative marking. So that's something pra practicing problems is very important. Now, sufficient time for revision. That's the next step. You have to revise every day thoroughly. So whatever you studied yesterday, you must revise today. Whatever you studied throughout the week, you must revise on Sunday. That way you have to follow. So you have to follow a spaced repetition, a revision uh, scientific procedure. So whatever you studied yesterday, uh, revise today. Whatever you studied th throughout the week, revise at the end of the week. And whatever you studied throughout the month, in the big in beginning of next month, please revise that. That way you will be able to do it better. Now there are some revision techniques which I always highlight. One is flowcharts, and the second is mind maps, and the third is flashcards. These are three methods which you can use to uh, revise faster, recall better, and you'll be able to visualize the reactions. Uh, and that's very important because especially in the reaction mechanisms, if you cannot visualize, that is where the mistakes will happen. A regular revision technique is obviously periodically going through your notes. That's something which obviously you are doing. So uh, please continue doing that. Now, one important thing which I have seen is the questions in this exam will be from latest research papers also. So you have to make a habit of, uh, you know, reading the latest research papers, attending latest web webinars online. There are various journals for organic chemistry, international journals are also there. You can always uh, go on uh, these journals website and read through. That will help you keep up the, with the latest research. And this will not just come handy now. Uh, during your PhD also, it will come handy when you will become assistant professor or scientist. It will come handy. So th this is uh, something which I wanted to highlight today. Now the last part is focusing on your physical health. Now, while you are doing all this organic chemistry, you know, studying, revision, practice, you have to remember that health is very important. If you are not in the sound health, you cannot write the exam. So follow a proper diet and always regularly exercise. When you follow all of this, you are definitely bound to study organic chemistry in the best way. Remember to study science the scientific way you are going to win. Now, I'm also going to cover in my future videos for inorganic chemistry as well as physical chemistry and any other thing which you would like to cover, let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see those videos, then you have to subscribe to Rasayanika. Link is given below. Please subscribe to us and also always uh, reach out to us, us on our telegram channel, which is t.me slash Rasayanika. You can always be a part of our vibrant community where everyone helps each other and we become an excellent platform for all of you. Thank you so much. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.